Good morning. Uh, it is, I think it might be about 9.15 in the morning, according to the clock right there. I'm in the Paris train station. And uh, as you, well, you probably don't know this, actually. Last night, uh, as I would, you know, last night after the Louvre, I, my feet were so tired. Um, and so I stopped in at the nearest Starbucks because I needed a coffee and I needed to sit for a while. So I did that. I left Starbucks with way enough time to get to the train station, I thought. I had, an, I had approximately an hour and 20 minutes and I got to the subway and I realized that I had lost my ticket. Now, I put the ticket in the special pocket of my pants, the little one, to make sure that I wouldn't lose it. But obviously, this tactic was not sufficient. And um, so I looked in my pocket, no ticket. I went to the ticket window, they were closed. It was Sunday. Went to the ticket window, closed. Okay, so I look at the map and I think to myself, you can hoof this, you can leg it, it's fine. Um, and so I began to walk toward the state. I figured I had an hour and 20 minutes. Yeah. So, I mean, there were a lot of things that happened uh, on the way. Uh, you know, I, I fell once. Uh, and it was one of those great big throw your hands out, you think you're going to stop yourself, it's all going to be okay, and at the last second you just don't. Um, yeah, I, people came up to help me, I, I'm like, uh, they say, are you okay? I'm like, I'm okay, but I'm lost, can you help me? And they pointed me into a different direction, and so I ran back that direction, and then I had to go around the block and go the same direction again, and uh, the, the map wasn't marked all that well. <laughs> it was just a huge pain in the ass. <laughs> I got there five minutes after my train had departed. I was disappointed in this. I went to the desk. I said, are there any other trains leaving for anywhere? They said, no. It was the smallest train station. Paris Bercy is the smallest train station, I think, maybe in the world. I don't know. Um, this, the one I'm in, it's a real train station. Just look. Look. There's all sorts of stuff. The body shop is here. We is here. I mean, there's a big window. You know, it's got to be a train station, right? Anyway, the one that I went to is very small and uh, the last train had just left. And so I asked the guy, are there any other trains leaving the city tonight? And he says, no. Now, there was a bit of a language barrier. I don't know if he thought that I had, you know, that it had to be a direct route to Innsbruck or what, but at any rate, um, I decided at that point that I would not try to come to another train station and get a ticket because I felt that if I did that and I didn't get a ticket and then I went back to the hostel, they might be booked. I figured it was better to stay another day and get a bed than it was to try to get a train out still. So I went back to the hostel, they had a bed for me. They're the most wonderful hostel in the, the world, St. Christopher's in Paris, London, Berlin, Amsterdam. Anyway, so I got a room. I got up early this morning, checked out, had breakfast, came here to the train station to try to figure out how I'm going to get home. Presentation tomorrow. And, and it's a rather large one. And so I got here. I booked a ticket for tonight. Uh, 8.20 in the morning or sorry, 8.20 at night until uh, 7.20 tomorrow morning. And that's when I get to Munich. I'm in Munich for five minutes and then I get on another train for Innsbruck. Now, this is the very same train that I had booked for last night. 
um i can tell you that at seven o'clock tonight i will my ass will be here waiting um because that would really indeed be unfortunate if i missed and yeah um that's kind of uh that's kind of where i am right now so i have another full day in paris what does one do with another full day in paris well i'll tell you this I shall visit all of the things that I needed to do yesterday. Um, I'm gonna go take that walking tour right now. I'm going to, I'm gonna do a bunch of things. I'm gonna make the best of it. You know what? Another day in Paris. Is that a problem? The only problem really is that I was definitely planning to do some stuff, stuff today, uh, some work, and that will have to be procrastinated. But really, if that's my biggest problem, it's not really a problem. So um, I'm going to get a chance to work on the train because I know I'll be up because it's an overnight train and I don't have a compartment. I just have a seat. So I'm going to be sleeping sitting up. Hopefully not with a psychotic Italian woman next to me. <laughs> anyway, love you. <laughs> love travels <laughs> and I'll be checking in.